might as well hold off. Let's get our to our first student. You ready for that? Everyone in the chat, we are about to begin the student portion of our program. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Uh, our first guest, our first student, learn, ready to learn about power selling and become a power seller themselves. Uh, please welcome uh, in your own homes, Chang Su Jin. Hi. Hello. Hello, Chang. Thank you for joining us this evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, can I ask you a question, Chang? Yes, please. Where are you joining us from on this mighty fine evening? I am in my house right now because my mom is not here. So I just sneaked in and I I tried to sell it. Anyway, I'm in Seoul, South Korea. Oh, wow. Uh, I believe you are joining us. You're our first workshop student joining us from South Korea. And I believe you're also the first workshop student joining us under the duress of occupying a home while their parents are not present. Thank you. I'm so lucky. No, you're we're very lucky. lucky. No, she is lucky. Thank you. For, thank you, Chang. Um, as you know, Tom and I are here to assist you on your journey to uh, through eBay.com. Uh, yes. I want to let you know any nerves you have, you can just get rid of them now. You don't have to be nervous. You're in good hands here. Okay. Just one thing. Yes. You keep calling me Jan. It's my family name. So Korea oh, is that is right. Family name first and last name. So I'm Sujin Jan for the I see. Please call me Sujin. My apologies, Sujin. Uh, I apologize yeah. as well. Out of all of my time spent running around this earth of ours, I've never been to uh, Korea, South Korea before at all, so I, I was not unaware of this. So thank you for enlightening us. We appreciate you <laughs> taking time to inform us of that, Sujin. Uh, now, you know what? I like that because I told you not to be nervous and you were confident and you corrected us. And yeah. now... It's time for us to join in the middle here and see what exciting item you've uh, brought for us this uh, evening. Uh, actually, if my mom found this, maybe she was so mad at me, but I'm really thrilled because I'm never against mom before. So it's my first against mom. So this is English, English dictionary. Oh, okay. wow. Look at the, Tom. Look how giddy she is. This is the first time she's disobeying her mother's orders. Um, that, that is the real, like, you love to see a smile like that. You love to see that excitement in somebody's face. Sujin, I'm so happy that we could be uh, facilitating this for you. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about uh, this specific dictionary here. You know, eBay's uh, about telling stories. Uh, now, now I'm high high school first grade. I think Korean and America is different curriculum. So we have elementary school for six years, and middle school three years, and high school for three years. And I'm I'm in the high school right now. And when I entered the middle school, my mom bought this for my birthday gift. English English dictionary. Actually, I wanted to have English Korean or Korean English dictionary, but my mom said, no, you have to study English harder. So you need to see English English dictionary. So I'm gonna see this and I always see my mom's reaction. Is your, your mom, will your mom be watching this footage? She'll be watching this? I think we hope she's not. Okay. Okay. Since your mom's not watching this. Uh-oh. I hope it sounds like we oh, can't no. hear. Oh, no. Uh, did her mom get to her audio? Oh, Sujin, we can't hear you, Sujin. Sujin, your audio went out. And if you can hear me, please don't cry, dear. It's going to be okay. Yeah. 
sewage. A little can't... bit. You came through a little bit there. Oh, uh, this is. Wild. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? I yes. can hear you now. Yes. Are you gonna talk to my mom? No, I'm sorry. I was only asking if you planned on showing this footage to your mom later, uh, but uh, Tom filled me in. So we're, we're mom is not gonna see any of this, okay? So you're safe with us. Yes. yes. Uh, can you hold that dictionary up one more time for us? Yes. Okay. Even even the cord oh that it has a case. It has a slip case, friends. Yes. Nice. So now, that's okay. A lot of times, you have an item, folks. This is to catch everyone else up, and then that item, if you're lucky, will be packaged in an identical item that is slightly larger that acts as a case that can slip on and off, and we call that a slip case. Are you writing this down, everyone? I didn't. There are pictures in there. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. There is pictures, but very few, very few. It's too thick, and actually, this is really heavy. You know, but here's the beauty: we don't even have dictionaries with pictures in them uh, oh. here in America. Like I had to learn, I had to learn my, all of the words, and I didn't get any sort of photography or drawings or or anything so to help me figure out what it was. You get at least something interspersed. It's nice. Can we see oh. some of those pictures up close? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. That is an American baseball field there. Uh, it looks like they're playing pretty close to the home plate, maybe a little closer than regulation states. Uh, unless they're doing some kind of, uh, uh, nowadays in MLB, they do uh, pretty wacky shifts to try and uh, uh, stop the sluggers from hitting the balls through the infield. What Who else do we have? Is this a series of jobs on the left? Oh, no, it's, to, it's about verbs. Okay, so there's a, a person trudging there. She trudged home with the shopping. Uh, the fisherman waded along the river. I mean, so this is a, uh, okay. This is the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. Now, I do have a question for you, Sujin. Um, and this is very important, all right? So if you're trying to sell this on eBay, there are several editions of the book. Uh, does this one, uh, I'm going to ask you a couple questions and just, you can tell me yes or no. Um, does this have a CD-ROM? No CD-ROM. Okay. Uh, does this, um, let's see, uh, which edition is this? I did not get a chance to look at the number on there. Did you say number? Yeah. What edition? Our fourth edition? Edition. Uh, oh, there is new edition, new edition. It's we don't edition. even have that on eBay. This is all right. This is some new ground we're breaking here. This is perfect. That uh, you know, uh, they're smart here. If you if you name it the fourth edition, eventually when the fifth comes out, people will know it's old. But if you just write new edition, it'll always be the new edition. Clever. Yeah. Okay. So. I also have one other question for you, which is um, with books, a lot of people care about the condition that the item is in. So if you were to describe like how, uh, it, you know, like used, not used, good, bad, mint, all that kind of stuff, how would you describe the condition of your item? In your own words, please. The best, most, most elaborate way you can describe it. But Mr. Parrot, but what if, if I say too honest, maybe nobody buy it. Well, is is we, there is there something in there condition wise that people would be? Uh, no, no. I mean, condition is really perfect, but I think this is very boring. Okay, so you're making a value judgment as to the quality of the book. Is it's a boring book? Now. It's a Boring, and it's too expensive. Here's what we'll do, Sujin. Uh, I'm going to take some screen caps of you holding that book, and if you act really excited, you can use that as your eBay photo, oh. and then people will think that it's an exciting book. So oh. let's just flip to a page in the book. Let's find a word, and let's get really excited about it. 
this is perfect because what, what Michael's doing here, Sujin, and just keep looking and making some nice poses. I'm just explaining this for the viewers at home. So what Michael and Sujin are doing here is they're going to work out a way to make sure that people are enticed by this dictionary, all right? Because Sujin's right, a dictionary is a board book. Nobody wants to read a dictionary unless they absolutely have to. But if Sujin can look as excited as she did, knowing that she was going to defy her mother, and Michael can capture that energy. That's what power selling is. That's when it comes together and from power and selling and becomes a power sale. I have so my screen capture power already. Seller today. Okay. Convert! Cha-ching. I got a screen capture there for you, Sujin. Let's hey, Wait, yeah. Michael, can yeah. you get one where it's like on a timer and we're both looking at Sujin holding up the, the dictionary and we're just like, oh my gosh. Sure, let me get it ready, my friend. Okay. All right, let's you know do this. You're ready. I just have to hold on. I got to make sure I'm, I'm looking at uh, at Sujin's window correctly. Oh, no. Okay, I was facing the wrong direction. Good thing I checked. All right. Ready? Cha-ching. We got these screen captures here for you, Sujin. Uh, Tom is going to email these to you. Wow. And you can upload them to your eBay listing. That way, any old bloke off the street logs on to your listing. They're going to see photos of uh, you and two people they couldn't tell from Adam. Really excited about this book. And, and tell you what, Sujin, we do have to move on to our next student, but I will get this to you as quickly as possible, and then we'll be able to get you uh, a, probably a couple hundred dollars for that perfect condition dictionary thank you so much thank you for joining us thank sujin you. don't tell your mom <laughs> bye that was a resplendent first workshop student thank you so much for joining us sujin uh <clears throat> what i liked about that was that sujin had a good heart she was disobeying her mother, but she was just having a little fun, you know? Mm -hmm. No one got hurt. There was nothing mean about any of the fun we were having. It was all a victimless laugh riot. It was ultimately a very wholesome way to start out an episode of Power Sailing. 